Come on down. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Is today Valentine's? No. Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. One of our church members brought these for you kids. Isn't that nice? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. There you go. Happy Valentine's. Cool, cool. How are you, Darcy? Good to see you. Hey, buddy. Who hasn't got any yet? All right. Benny boy. There you go. Gracie. Okay, okay. There you go. Great to see all of you. Man. Everybody got them? Okay. Ray, right up here if you want some, buddy. Brax, you want one? Okay. This pledge box up here reminds me of the Valentine's Day card boxes we used to put in school and put our little love notes in there. I think I put in my uh, newsletter thing about, I remember in second grade when Susan Greenleaf gave me a valentine, my heart pitter-pattered. I think, it was, I think it was her. She had a twin. It could have been Debbie or Susan. I don't know. It was one of she. They were both looked alike, and I liked them both. I got a paper for all of you. Just plain old piece of paper with kind of the church name on it. But you can, guys can write on it and stuff, draw pictures or write letters to family or whatever. But there's something special about this, too. Here you go. See if any of you can find any words on this that aren't, you know, very... You can read some of them, right? See if you can hold it up to the light and see if you can see any other words that are on it. Did you find anything? What did you find? Capital Bond. Is there like a picture of the Capitol building on it maybe too? See if you can hold them up and look at that. It looks like just a regular old piece of paper. You can't see it unless you hold it up to the light. Anybody know what that's called? That invisible kind of mark? There you go. Okay. It's called a watermark. Can you say watermark? And when they make paper, you know how they make paper? They make paper out of trees. Can you believe that? And is yours cut off at the top? If you look up, somewhere on that paper are some like, you can see some invisible words. Capital bond. Oh, there you go. There's your paper. Maybe you can see, and you can eat a paper. Yes. And when they make paper, it's out of wood and stuff, but... They, they squish it down and grind it up and then they put water with it and make it real flat. And then for nice paper, nice paper, they put a little stamp on it that says some kind of a bond or something, some kind of bond paper to show that it's nice paper. And uh, it's called a watermark. I got thinking about that. Today we did some baptisms. Last week we did some baptisms and we put water on their heads, didn't we? It's a water. Mark. And sometimes, you know, it dries and it goes away. But you know what? For Christians and especially for God who looks at our heads, guess what? God can see that because He looks through His light at us and He knows that we've been baptized. Isn't that awesome? So He can look at us and He still sees our water from our baptism. And so it's a very special thing when we are baptized, when that water dries away, that doesn't mean like that, okay, nobody can ever tell that we're Christians. God can tell. And also, if you live a life that's good like Jesus would want us to live, that's a sign to others too, isn't it? And so sometimes we may even forget that 
we've been baptized and we're Christians, so we need to look at God's light and go, oh yeah, I've been baptized. I've got a water mark, right? From baptism. And so it's very special being baptized. And it's a sign that you're one of God's children. And it's the most wonderful thing in the world. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't get it. Oh, I am so sorry. Now you can have the joy of looking at the light. <laughs> Let's bow our heads for a prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thanks for this time to be together. Thank you for the gift of baptism and for the watermarks in our lives and uh, for loving us so. Be with these children and watch over them and their families and keep them in your tender care. Okay, amen. You can go downstairs for Sunday school now or you can go back to your seats, whichever. <laughs>